Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor Hazleton and today in this video I'll be showing you how to create a college ruled notebook interior using Canva. Before we get started, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate all of the support. I'll also have a link to my Facebook group in the description below in case you're interested in joining that. All right, let's get started. So first, just want to head on over to Canva. I'm currently using the free version of Canva, so you do not need the pro in order to do this. You just want to hit create a design in the top right hand corner and then go to custom size. You want to do 8.625 by 11.25 if you want 8.5 by 11 notebook, which is what I'll be showing you today. I already have it in my recent, so I'm just going to select it here, but if you didn't, you would just type it in and change it from pixels to inches. So it's going to open up a page just like this in a new tab. Just give it a minute to load. All right, there we go. You can title it whatever you want to up here. Want to head on over to file and make sure that your rulers are showing if they are not already and guides are showing as well. Both of mine already are because I have the check mark there, but if yours don't have the check mark, then just click on it and they should show up. And then you head on over to elements and just select this plain line. If you don't find it, then you can just search right here and type in line and it should come up. Now, before I do anything else with that, I want to set our margins. So all you do is click on the ruler and then drag down. You want to go to about 1.5 on the top or as close as you can get it. And then on the bottom is going to be about 10.6. There we go, that's pretty close. And now I'm going to take this line and just make it longer all the way across. I like to go a bit past so that way I don't have to worry so much um, of missing any part of the paper or anything like that. I want to change the weight of the line to one because this is too thick uh, for the paper that I want to create. I'm going to move this line up here. And now you want to have about 35 lines for an eight and a half by 11. So I'm just going to click on it and then hit Control D. Control D will bring another line, or you can do Control C, Control V. Uh, there are many other ways I'm sure that you could duplicate it. So currently I have two. And I'm just gonna keep going until I get to 35. So I'm currently at four. There we go, now I'm at 35. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top one up here, or it really doesn't matter, just any of these lines, and I want to move it all the way up to the top where my margins are. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. And you'll know that it's lined up because when you put it over it, the line goes all the way across the page, so that is perfect just as it is. I'm going to hit Control A to select everything. Go to Position. I'm going to hit tidy up and now this should spread all of the lines out evenly which is exactly what we want I'm going to group them together and then I'm just going to move them over as you can see I can just move it up and down I want that top line right on the margin same with the bottom line and there we go so now I also want to add um, a line right here on the left side to get that vertical margin. So you just want to click on the ruler over here, drag it across, and we're going to go to about 1.5. I believe the actual amount is 11 over 4 inches, um, which is almost 1.5, a little bit less. So we're just going to stop a little bit before. So we'll go with right there. And then I just want to add another line. I'm going to rotate this. 90 degrees, 90 or negative 90, and then I'm just going to make it longer so it goes past the pages on both sides, change the weight again to 1, and now I'm going to move that right over the line. Perfect, and then I'll just go to File, and I can turn off the Show Guides. And now you have a college ruled interior. So from here, you can kind of just personalize it however you want to. You could add flowers or designs in the background, 
or you can change the colors. You could change this one to red and the rest to blue. You can leave it black. Uh, you can kind of do whatever you would like to. Um, in order to get more pages, you can hit this duplicate page up here, or you can change the view down in this bottom right hand corner. You can hit control copy paste, or you can hit the control D button, or you can highlight them and do the same thing, or in the top right corner, you can duplicate four pages. So a Canva only allows you to go up to 100, so if you want to make a book that has more than 100 pages, then you'll need to use some sort of PDF combined website, something like that. I believe I Love PDF is a great one to use, or Adobe may have something as well. So definitely check those out in case you want more than 100 pages. I am going to have a free download for 100 pages in the description below. You can find my dumb road link there. I also have a few other interiors available in case you're interested. So if you didn't want to create your own and wanted to save some time, you can go ahead and download that for completely free. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe the video. All of your support means so, so much to me and I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to comment them below. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.